welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, I have got a lot of paint mixed up. And though I'm sure that I'm not going to use it all, I'm not sure what I am going to use. So, I'm going to show you what I have gotten together. Um, and some of these paints are like a um, mixture. So, this purple metallic color is a mixture of the Artist Loft um, Violet, the Craftsmart Multi-Surface Premium Ultra Bright Metallic Paint in Amethyst, and then um, a little bit of the Artist Loft Thalo Blue. So these three make that purple color. Um, let's see, my berry color, this color, if you can see it, is the Deco Art um, Americana Decor Metallics in the color berry. Um, but it was too bright for this color palette. I needed to deepen it a little, so I added some of the Artist Loft Deep Magenta to that color. All right, what's next? Um, this is next. This is Sapphire from Art Mons Brushed Metallics. There's nothing mixed with this. This is just the color straight from the container. Of course, thinned, but there's no added colors. For the green, this metallic green, I have got... The majority of it is the metallic leaf green from Artist Loft. I added a dash of sap green from Artist Loft, and then I needed the tone to come back down. It was too bright, so I added some of the Liquitex Basics Thalo Green. Okay, so those three is what is in this cup. Next, what have we got? Uh, next, this is just a straight color. There's nothing added into this except um, the Craftsmart Multi-Surface Premium Ultra Bright Metallic Paint. This is in the color copper. So that's the only paint in that container. I also have the Anita's Metallic Craft Paint. This is in bronze, and that's the only color in the cup. So, there's that. The next color, I told you I had a lot of colors mixed up. The next color um, is this pretty um, orange. The majority of it is the cadmium red light hue. But then I mix in a little bit of the red oxide to, to tonally bring it down. Because again, this was bright and none of these colors are bright. Then we have this um, navy blue. And that's just the Anita's craft paint in the color navy blue. No other color was added to it. The next color is this really pretty crimson color. This is Alzerian Crimson Hues from Liquitex Basics. Um, I really, really like that color a lot. Next, what do we have? We have got some brown. Um, this is Liquitex Basics Raw Umber. I don't have a lot of this mixed up because I'm almost out. I need to get another tube. Uh, and this container is can you guess deco art americana metallics in 24 karat gold we all know and love this gold it's one of our favorites and then finally i've got my white base mixed up and that is the artist law flow acrylic in white and um a few tablespoons of the americana decor satin enamels in pure white so <laughs> I said a lot and we haven't even started painting 
but that those are the colors okay you guys as you can tell there's been a slight change um this is actually my second canvas that i'm pouring with these colors it's the same colors but um had a slight disaster the little lizard that likes to stay in my craft room got very bold and he came running across my counter and scared the bejesus out of me and i completely ruined the piece that i had just poured um when he did that so <laughs> i have to start over and i didn't want to get like a clean pad and everything and be wasteful so that's why it looks the way it looks but the colors that i ended up using um this color palette turned out to be quite warm i did put the navy blue in but um even the navy blue it's not like a it's not like a bright blue like a sky blue or a brilliant blue so it still it still suited the um the color palette but um I used the copper and the bronze and the gold. I've used that, do they call it mauve? I think they called it mauve. I can't remember. I did this yesterday and I'm doing the voiceover now, but like that burgundy color. Um, and I used that orange that I had mixed the red oxide with. Um, so I've got my colors layer. I'm just going to put down a puddle of the satin enamel. And I have been watching Sarah Mack's videos. If you've not watched Sarah Mack, you guys should totally check her out. She's a great artist. Um, but she did a Galaxy um, Pour like um, series. And now she's doing Under the Sea series. And I'm not necessarily trying to replicate her technique. Because I cannot figure out how she gets her paints to do that. But this color palette was really... Um, inspired by the color palette she used look look in the right hand corner do you see him he is so brave he's a little bitty thing i know he's not going to hurt me but that lizard is has ruined more paintings than anything oh he gives me oh i can't deal with him i know he's not going to hurt me i'm scared he's going to jump on me and i don't want him to jump on me and i'm like little lizard please go away please anyway back on topic <laughs> um the color palette that i chose all the metallics and stuff like that sarah mack um had a similar color palette in her last painting and i just really fell in love with it so that's what i wanted to use and um so i'm just doing a little bit of a straight pour and the back and forth motion um and a little bit of a ring pour. I'm just doing, and then I'll go up high and move down low, um, just to get some interest and variation in the composition. So, um, yeah, just stuff, just just motions um, with your hands. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You can just move your wrist a lot of time, and you can add some interest to the composition when you're pouring so that's always the hard part is the ending because you always get that one last glob that falls into the center and can just make everything a mess but as you guys can see this well to me this color palette is it's right up my alley i love this like warm earthy tone color palette I don't know if I mentioned, but this is a 14 by 14 canvas. And I'm just going to lay down some more of the satin enamel as the flow extender for this. And I'll spread it out. I found my palette knife. <laughs> I had taken it inside and washed it. And um, not that I'm outside. I'm, my art room is not part of my house. And I don't have like a sink and stuff to wash my stuff in the art room. So I have to take it inside of the house and wash it. Um, so I had washed it and laid it to the side to dry. And forgot where I put it. But I have it now. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> we've got a nice base coat. It is um, generous on there. 
um, which I put a lot of paint on the canvas because um, lately I've been like, I can't find the balance between enough paint, too much paint, and too little paint. And I was putting too much paint. And so then I tried to cut back and then I was putting too little paint. I don't know. I can't get it just right. And I found that I would rather have too much paint on there so that I don't overstretch it and make my lines walky. So that's kind of where I'm at. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to move it around the canvas and I really like that um, it's not red it wasn't red it's showing up red on the camera but it's not it was um, it wasn't even crimson it was just it was a it was burgundy but um, more on the red end of burgundy if, I don't know um, if there's a color to name that but yeah I was I was using artist loft deep red a lot um, before I found this one from Liquitex I still like the artist loft deep red but I had to add another color with it to get it that deep color um, and this I don't have to add anything with it. Um, like I said, I've been watching Sarah Max. I would love to be able to replicate what she's showing, but um, I think it's because she uses only Floetrol as her poor medium. And I've used only Floetrol before, but I just was not happy with it. So I use my poor medium, which doesn't make those puffy clouds um like hers does but the color palettes that she picks for her pieces are amazing and I love them and they're so pretty and so when I see them I'm like oh I'm gonna do a painting but I want to use some of those colors um so yeah but the sun enamel does make these kind of I mean it it does have some fluffy parts to it so um yeah, overall, turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, I think Mr. Lizard had went and found some cubby hole to get into. He didn't mess with me anymore um, while I was doing this painting, so. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to take you guys down, and I'm going to show you some close-ups. You can see a little bit on here how the gold is so shimmery. Um, but there's a lot of metallics in this painting. They're all, in real life, they were super, super shimmery. So pretty. And, yeah, I really like how this came out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you have a good day, wherever you are, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye!